Hello guys, and this is a video on comparing two desktop environments, um, GNOME and KDE. And of course, KDE, GNOME focuses much more on simplicity as um, everything, the interface, tax bars, and features are much more simple than the ones on KDE. KDE focuses more on fe being feature rich and um, the having a good interface uh, it has lots and lots of widgets and, and you know lots of features and it has the in it focuses a lot on interface where it has a, an, an amazing background uh, transparency effects and icons and all that it, so these are the main user uh, the main difference between these two desktop environments and yeah what uh, um, in this, I have I am a GNOME user. I've been using GNOME for most of my time, and this is showing you Kubuntu KDE 4.2. Um, other distributions such as Mandriva, um, OpenSUSE, uh, and Fedora also has KDE, and this is the default desktop of K um, Kubuntu KDE. Now this little thing is one of the plus one widgets these like gadgets and widgets on uh, mac os and windows vista where you manage all your little cool things on your desktop you this widget allows you to manage your icons and shortcuts on your desktop on this little border shaded box now i don't really like this because you cannot manage your icons on uh, on the out out of this little box you have to manage your icons in this shaded bordered box um on gnome it's much more simpler as you can manage your um icons anywhere and this is on shaded little box and you can edit um, more widgets by going to click on the little icon on the t very top right of your screen and there are lots and lots of widgets out there much more than you can think of clock and um, comic strip dictionaries you can you can add these things on your desktop as many as you like these are just like mac os and windows 7 and of course you you can have as many widgets as you like but of course as i'm a gnome user I feel that I do not really need these items on the desktop because uh, these are a bit ways of, of desktop space. I I am the person who uses the desktop for just managing quick launch icons and you know shortcuts. Whereas um, on KDE, the desktop is much more used for um, small applications and widgets, which you can keep track of things and you know manage your Thing, ap small applications and all that but I prefer to have the desktop just for launching icons and keeping it clean where instead of having lots and lots tons of applications and you know messy things on your desktop it's just a waste of space really but people who prefer to have um, small applications running on the desktop may like widgets the next thing I want to show you is the taskbar. Now GNOME and KDE has different taskbars. On GNOME you have two taskbars. The top one uh, manages your applications and your icon file applications, your shortcuts, your sessions, your time and calendar and the bottom one manages your minimized windows whereas KDE has one little um, taskbar that manages all the application, all the widgets, and all the t um, windowed icon fight and minimized windows. It has lots and lots of widgets on um, the attacks, whereas GNOME tends to keep things simple. This is one of the widgets where it manages and allows you to quickly launch your folders. And it launches Dolphin, the default file manager. And of course, Dolphin is pretty good for. It's the default uh, file manager on um, KDE. 
and you to launch your um, li live media and USB or portable devices such as CD and all that, you need you need to launch a, a separate widget for just for this, and it looks. Uh, it looks a bit different from each other, but I personally, as a GNOME user, prefer to have just one little drop-down thing. On GNOME, it's a places menu where it manages both uh, live media and um, folders, w and they work um, the same. It works. It works the same. Whereas uh, these two widgets have a, a pretty sl a slight different interface. So that's my point of view. And you can add widgets and things on your taskbar by clicking this little tool. That's on the GNOME text. You can just right click on anything. You can add them by by right clicking. You can remove them by right clicking. You can move anything by right clicking and go to resize. And you can move these items wherever you want on your taskbar. And okay, you click this little um, arranging tool, and you can right click to remove this tool. And this arranging tool is a bit more, it's a bit weird. You manage things on your desktop. Yep. And what's weird about KD is that the the default file manager, the default text file doesn't let you do much because on GNOME you can right click and click resize you can move anything about on KDE you can quickly remove things by right clicking as you can see but you cannot right click and move things about so if you want I can find windows on on your on to the left hand side you cannot do that much you can't do really do that you have to yeah you can't because this is the default layout the default interface of the KDE um, KD uh, KD taskbar, whereas GNOME is much more flexible, where you can move things about easily. And this is the default start menu on KD, where it allows you easily to manage your um, favorites, your applications, your um, computers, your recently accessed applications, and uh, manage sessions. Yeah, it looks a lit a lot like Win Seven and Windows Vista, <coughs> whereas g the GNOME one is much a bit unique and yeah, it's user preferences really. Um, I prefer the 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 GNOME ones because this the KDE one manages everything in a box, and it's a bit weird to maneuver over. I'm clicking all these um, shortcuts on the t at the very bottom to access each thing. So as GNOME, you can click efficiently click launch application by clicking one one bar, um, manage your system by clicking another bar, manage your um, places by clicking another bar, and manage your um, sessions by clicking another bar. Whereas having everything cluttered on one little box and thank you for listening to my first part of my video